With a yo ho ho, it's Taylor the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11.2 Firestorm. In the last video, we recruited Janus and learned some backstory on Scott Banyan. Ask all you like. Our answer remains the same. We will not play. Please leave. Leave? <laughs> not likely. Silence, Fedora. His name is Fedora. There is nothing more to discuss. Destroy this place. Yes, Lord Tvalin. That I think that's the most evil voice I can muster. <laughs> Did you see that talk? What dwell on the brother? Indeed, younger brother. Such malevolent energy. So, what will it be? Cloister Divinity! So, yeah, the, the, the lowdown is Epsilon wants to destroy their school, but the only way to stop them is by beating Epsilon in football, and these guys are not typically the ones to just play a game of football, but on this occasion, for the second time in three parts, they're gonna do it anyway. So at least we're not doing it ourselves this time. Do not hesitate, team. Do not hold back. Wicked souls deserve punishment, and we are the instruments of justice. Because we are sparkling justice. Except they, they, they've got an evil plan, and they're going to crush them. All we could do was stand and watch as Cloister Divinity faced off against Epsilon. But nothing could have prepared us for the power Epsilon wielded. Lisa! Alright, now I think we'd be a better match for these guys, given that we kind of 5 would Cloister, but those special moves... I'm a fire in my laser! That, that would uh, put, throw a wrench into things. I hope you're okay. Oh, you do care, don't you, Banyan? Bah! Nyan! But, yeah, you can't help but care about him. We are a disgrace. Elder brother! Younger brother! Is that all you've got? How oh, tedious. I thought there might be at least one among you to amuse me. I don't know about you, but Kick amuses me with that flame breath. Meanwhile, there's Alien Waifu. <laughs> She's just the most anime-looking character in the entire series, to be honest. This isn't over yet. We'll play you. We've got our own lasers to fire. These creatures, they are without souls. Don't worry, we'll be okay. You guys did the force loss for us. Now we'll just beat them and then that'll be the end of the game. Hooray! <coughs> Scott? Is that you over there? You're here to get revenge for your team, right? To fight Epsilon? I, uh, well... Everyone, we have to let Scott join the team! Why? <laughs> He's not even that great at football, is he? He's annoying. No, fine, we've got to have him. Yeah, because Celia believes in him and we've got to help him trust in other people and other children's storyline cliches. I'm sorry too. I believe in Matt, so if he believes in you, then I believe in you too. This is getting proper soppy now. Listen, Scott, everyone believes in you, alright? You believe in me? Okay, that's settled. Welcome to the team. Blah de blah, let's get on with it. Epsilon, you're going down. I've never gone quiet over the joined you music before, but I just really wanted to celebrate Banyan joining the team there. 
bask in your foolishness a while before your inevitable demise. But attempt to escape, and you will be destroyed. You said anything about escaping? We're not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> That's the name of Undyne's theme, isn't it? This should be fun. What are you watching for, you suspicious boy? Right, the complicated adding process again. We need to add him to our blue pages to show that he's off the main 16. Then we need to dive into the friends menu and bring him onto the main lot. Who am I going to replace? He is a defender. Much as I like the stockbroker, I can't see myself using him in the future. He's, his moves are pretty weak, so I'd have to use special move manuals to give him anything useful. We are ready to face our doom against Epsilon. We're going to get lasers fired in the face. So, getting my stylus out very loudly as usual. Look at this. They just introduced a new gimmick about special alter egos in this game. So they thought, well, it can't just be Sean Frost, can it? We've got to have another character have some kind of... You know what? Milford's doing well, Jack. You're off the team for a game. They just had to give someone else an alter ego just to make the, the feature worth having. It's no spoiler to say that Banyan is, has got one of these forms. Oh, um, okay, we can beat them in 10 if that's what they want. Yeah, they are making this go by a little faster. I suppose that helps in terms of the video length because I believe this is the end of the chapter. But yes, we've got just 10 minutes to do this match instead of going the full distance against these aliens. I've got Mac at the front, that random recruit that was suggested in the comments. Because something else that was pointed out about him, which I've come to agree with, he's really fast. He doesn't get much distance to run exactly in this fight, but he is so fast. Because in his moveset, he has the ability speed boost, which just naturally amplifies his speed abilities, plus just being a member of the track and field club, he was naturally going to be a fast runner anyway. Come on, Janus! Epsilon just warped you out of existence in the last cutscene you were in, so you can show him who's boss. Except no, because you don't have any tackling moves. But yeah, Scott, Sean Frost just couldn't be the... Oh, damn. Oh, this is Banyan's shot blocking. Okay, let's use Whirlwind Force to try and stop his regular shot. We did it! Fantastic! Well done, Bunny. It's Scott! He's got the ball! <sighs> I did it! Brilliant, Scott! I knew you could do it if you tried! Nice one, Scott! We're on our way! <laughs> amusing! Most amusing! I like it! Ha 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 ha! He's laughing at us, and it's hurting the LP's voice. Operation complete. Soldiers of Epsilon, stand down immediately. We've been recording for about five minutes, and the match is over. I didn't even have a chance to finish what I was talking about with Scott Banyan. Yeah, basically, he's got an alter ego just for the sakes of having one, really. It's got no story relevance at all. It just slightly lowers his defensive abilities and slightly raises his kicking skills and it gives him the move Kung Fu Fighting. But it's got no story relevance, so I'm um, not really going to be making much use of that. He didn't play a whole match, but we saw enough to know that Epsilon was able to get past about two of our defenders before the match ended. If you didn't uh, figure that out already, basically, the w that was kind of a required loss, a required tie, really. But the way to win, in inverted commas, was simply to acquire the ball with Banyan. You can do it with shot blocking 
or just by tackling for the ball and then going with whirlwind force. But that's his defensive move and it's very good. Looks like all that cleaning based speed training was worth it in the end. What are you on about? That wasn't training. I just wanted to get the cleaning over with as quickly as I could, that's all. Well, training or not, it seems to have helped. Uh, so, Mark, do you want a new superstar defender to help you save the world? Really? Um, uh, well, oh, go on then. I guess he did get the ball off Epsilon, to be fair. Bunyan is still in training, is he not, elder brother? Indeed, younger brother. He is not ready to be playing alongside such skilled footballers yet. You lot stay out of this. You're just jealous because you got steamrolled by those aliens. No, Scott, listen, you did well, but you are getting ahead of yourself. At this rate, you will be more of a hindrance to Ryman than a help. One moment, Crane. Y yes, Master. You are being very rude. Mark, I want to ask you something. Will you take this fledgling footballer with you and whip him into sheep? You have my explicit permission to have him do anything you want. Be it washing the bus, cleaning the seats, which is essentially washing the bus. Y you make me sound way more important than I am, but... Yeah, of course we'll take Scott with us. Bah! He probably just want to get rid of me anyway. Here, Scott! A parting gift from me to you! What's it gonna be, though? What? what it's... It's a Cloister Divinity team kit! It was on the team and he didn't even have one of those. That's pretty remarkable and they're saying that he's got to wear that kit on the Ryman team? That doesn't really make sense. We do unlock the item Cloister Strip which allows us to dress up like Cloister if we wish. But that the same goes for all teams and still making pitfalls. Yeah, be you. Thanks for everything, you big twit. Banyan! Indeed, beating any team unlocks you their team kit, but I like to stick with Ryman anyway. It, it, it just makes sense, you know. That's one of the bosses, a massive durr head. Hey, that's not fair. Come back. Fun fact about the Cloister kit: it looks completely different in the anime. It's more of a kimono than. A, well, a, a more masculine kimono kind of thing than just a regular kit which they use in the game. Do not forget, Mark, there are capabilities lying dormant within you. May they come no harm on our journey. Goodbye, Cloister Divinity. is not over yet. I do not know why you are always going off to, but remember this. You may be one of the Master's favorites, but you won't be able to do whatever you like for much longer. I'll bear that in mind. Fallen, leave the rest to us. The Master already has the pieces in place for the next phase. What? He may prefecture. <laughs> I, I guess prefecture means some kind of factory. Are you up, Samford? <laughs> I can't believe his cronies are after us again. Don't they ever give up? They're definitely on their guard. I think this proves our information was correct. He is in a hime. But what's he doing here? What's he planning? I don't know. But we're gonna get him before he has a chance to do anything. There they are! 
Ah, oh, this is no time for chatting. W what's this? Come on, quickly! They wouldn't go this far, would they? Over there, get them! No!